I'm going to go to Peter Linus now. Uh, Peter is the director of the Evangelical Alliance. Uh, Peter, obviously you will be welcoming uh, the ruling here. Well, absolutely. And actually, I think it's a good decision for everybody. I think the one thing I want to push into is the the comparison with apartheid is a really, really bad one, even with respect, in the sense that Mr. Lee had been served there before. He'd bought products at the bakery before. The Supreme Court were really clear. This was nothing before to do with they knew, Mr. That was Lee's before they knew orientation. What he believed in, you know, that, that's the thing, Peter. Once he nailed his colours to the mast, then it was, you know, they, they weren't doing that. But they had they had served him before they've been and they would serve him again. There's no question about serving him. And the Supreme Court were really clear on this. These facts are incredibly important. What the key came down to is can you force somebody, in this case a baker, to use their skills to promote a political slogan? And that was really important. The court said that's what this was. Support gay marriage at the time was the campaign in Northern Ireland. Um, it was a political slogan. Everybody agreed that that's what was at play. And the, the issue was, can you force somebody to produce a political slogan that they disagree with? And ultimately, the Supreme Court said you can't. And that's why people like Peter Thatchell, the gay rights activist, uh, agreed with me on this case. He initially was a bit hesitant, but actually he came out and said, no, we need to support the bakers on this. For everybody's sake, if we can force people to put messages they disagree with, that's a really unhealthy thing in a democratic society. Yeah. So actually, Peter Thatchell and I both agree on this case. We might come from different perspectives, but we all agree this is the right judgment, the right ruling. And the European Court have ultimately said Mr. Lee doesn't have a further appeal. His case is inadmissible. And I do, I do think that's really important, actually. It's a good decision for everyone, because otherwise you could force people to make all sorts of messages they fundamentally disagree with and have to use their skills to do that. And that would be a bad thing. If this was a case saying I'm not going to serve somebody because they're gay, that would be fundamentally wrong, absolutely disgraceful. Uh, but it's not that, and that's really important distinction. And just really briefly on this, because it's my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, Peter Linus, that the couple, Colin and Karen MacArthur, took a, a view that they wouldn't put slogans on any cakes, regardless of whether it was you know, LGBT or any slogan. It wasn't specifically about their Christian faith. It was just anti-slogan. But just so happened that they were... Well, a little bit more complex probably than that over the over the eight years as you've said this has run but fundamentally it was did a, any slogan that would disagree with their religious beliefs or political beliefs it's a slightly unique piece of law to northern ireland and i spent many years as a barrister there so that was one of the key parts of the case but it's, it comes down to can you force somebody against their political religious conscience for any reason can you force somebody to print a message they disagree with and the court said no you can't for anybody you can't force anybody against their will. And the European Court has now agreed with that. And I think that's ultimately a good decision, actually, for everybody. It's never been about Christians against the LGBT community. It's always been about can you force somebody against their will to produce a message they disagree with. Uh, Peter Linus, thanks for making that clear. Appreciate it. Thank you. That ruling from the European Court, Justin. Thank you very much indeed.